Well, hello, friends. It's Pearl of Wisdom, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom Be Pal Picks Edition. And, uh, oh, did I get letters. <laughs> First of all, I got letters, a lot, a lot, a lot of letters on my uh, Shifley and Evans hit. Some of the words were not very nice, but that's all right. I'm a big boy. I could handle it. Oh, my gosh, did I get letters on that? Um, and uh, I just did a whole free agent thing where I'm taking the big – I just did the top 10 free agents, and now I'm going to do the next 10 free agents and the next 10 going out to all the teams and stuff like that. I got some letters on that as well. But I got these letters from uh, uh, Daniel Wa- Kulawazga, Kulawazava. Kowalzaba from Czech Republic. Hope I said that right. Uh, Joey Souza from Spain and Lisa Fritz from Akron, Ohio. Also, we uh, many, many more. But they were asking, how come I'm not giving picks for all the games in the playoffs? I am giving picks. They're on my Patreon. You can go get it for free. Just ask me in the comment section. As far as videos, I put them out sporadically because this is when I feel like it o'clock, you know. So I have to feel like it. I've been doing all the other kind of videos. I do them when I feel like it. I do have some picks for you today, though. Uh, but you can see my picks. See, this is in the background here. This is my Patreon here, right here. And this is the pick I sent out. And this is what I said in my pick. Islanders, plus one and a half over lightning, pays 160. Medium pearls, which is two units, whatever is medium to you, whatever that is to you. Uh, under five and a half pays 170. These are all for medium and under one and a half first period. Got them all, nailed them all. Uh, first game of series is often difficult to predict, obviously, not this time, as both teams will be feeling things out and finding weaknesses in their opponents. With that in mind, I like to take the safer play on the line, and the, with the Islanders getting 160 on the puck line, it seems like the best play. Odds make odds makers undervalue the Islanders a lot, and that's good for us. I freaking spelled I missed the R there. That was actually a really short one. I usually go a little further than that, deeper than that, but it's the weekend. Partying, man. Going out, I actually went out to Chikiku Lake. Burnt some critter and went for a, like a hike. Had some good times, my friend. Okay, I just said I'm going to give you a pick, right? So let's get to it. Where that here over here? Okay, can you see that? All right. Do I need to move around? No. There you got it. Fine. Montreal versus Vegas. First of all, I'm going to give you a serious pick as well. Uh, I'm going to take Vegas, but I think it's going to be like six. This is a weird one because Vegas plays a lot like the Islanders, and uh, but they have more skill. <laughs> Montreal has not come up to with the team with this much uh, talent and uh, – Team ability. Uh, Montreal has been winning these game, winning their games, based on a team ability. And what is really cool about that, which is means like teams coming together as one unit. What what's amazing about that is, uh, before they got Ducharme, uh, when they had Julian, the uh, Weber came out in the media and said that the reason why the coach got fired, Julian got fired, was because there was room problems. And here's this guy, Ducharme, come in. In a matter of half a shortened season, he's got this no room problems anymore. I'll tell you what, man. I, I criticized Ducharme, and I criticized Montreal a lot. And I was like, so totally wrong. He's done amazing. Montreal's done really well. 
but I do think Vegas is going to win this series. I think they're going to win in six. As far as the game, look at this. You're getting on the puck line, which is plus one and a half, so Montreal can lose by one. You're getting 183 a Bodog? Are you serious? As, have, have these odds makers not watched Montreal play up until now? With price? They keeping this to one goal seems probably like the best play. Especially when you're looking at 137 on the money line, so you pretty much gotta take it in reg to get well, you want if you take this in reg but for Vegas to win in regulation. You're going to get worse odds, well, worse payout than if you take Montreal puck line. I'll tell you what, I've underrated puck Montreal enough. I'm going to take them on the puck line here. As far as the total is concerned, that's tough right now. I really want to see these teams play. But my gut says, and my head says, Flurry and Price will probably keep this under. There's an off chance that Vegas is going to come out and blow Montreal right out of the water, though. There is it. Uh, there is a possibility that that's the case. Um, we saw what they did to Colorado. But the thing is, Montreal's got a much bigger defense than Colorado does. And they've just got way more veteran heart on Montreal than Colorado did. Colorado's just learning what it means to pace yourself, to be pace yourself warriors. That's really what it is in the playoffs. It's a, a level, consistent warrior mentality where you're not draining yourself every moment you're on the ice so you can't make it through. It's like a marathon, being a warrior on a, in a marathon. It's, it's an incredible balance. And Montreal's got guys on there that understand that, and um, I'm really into, I'm I'm really excited about this this series. I I want to see what it all turns out to. But I'm going to take under five and a half, and I'm going to take Montreal on the puck line like I did with the Islanders on the puck line. Until I see different, I, you know, Montreal could win this. They definitely could keep it close with Price in that. I think the odds are very high that that's the case. So. That's my full 42. That's all I got to give for you today. One pick took me seven and a half minutes. Hit the subscribe and the bell if you could. Helps out the channel. You get to see more fine programming like this. And uh, go ahead and check out my free agent stuff. I also did uh, something on trading Marner recently. Um, and uh, trading Eichel. There's lots of frolic down there. Come back and frolic again, will ya? Okay. Bye.